Fit like Abdi, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever on the USA map. We were looking at this uh, Albuquerque and Memphis coal, should be coal slash grain. I will change it at some point. Uh, we upgraded these trains, we changed up their line to take grain and coal. There's another one there, it's probably running, it's only got 21 which is not a lot, but hopefully some grain will be getting delivered, we'll see if it picks up some grain. After we're done this, we're going to get the other oil line from Dallas to Houston done. We upgraded, there is some grain, excellent, 12 of, very nice, continue on sir. Uh, which is over here, we created this huge, monstrous number, ooh, the Texas Center City which is right there. It's got 58 of 264, it's heading down. It's looking good. We are gonna change out these Mikados uh, for something that better suits the region because the New York Central line, uh, I very doubt had a Mikado down here in Texas. But really, we're looking at this guy. This train is gonna be sent off to be sold at some point, probably right now, once it gets into here, uh, pick the line details, uh, in fact, give me that, give me vehicles, right, we've got two more to get rid of, we're only going to have one, one large one, just like the Mikado for San Antonio, so we'll get that done, uh, this should be a fertilizer train, of which it is, so we're waiting for this aging train to move along basically right it's taking its sweet ass time there we go wait for it to deliver everything and oh road vehicles are old there we go we'll send it to the depot now get rid of these. We're not replacing any more road vehicles until the next road vehicle sort of comes along. Uh, if we push pause, we might be able to catch the other one. I do believe this is it here. It's heading up with 70 fuel. And the next one down in this sort of direction has picked up 70 fuel. So we're going to have to get them to wait. So, we're almost at 19.15. Here's our huge-ass Mikado in the background coming in. Uh, this New Orleans train is going to go as well. I've got a plan for that. Even though we are running this kind of cool uh, mini Atlantic on there, which I think is pretty smart. Right, you're heading out. Look at this queue of traffic. They're all carrying... Some of them are carrying mail and stuff. So they're not all totally empty. Right, I would actually like to just send that one away. Where is the next one? It's up here. Right, you continue on, my friend. We'll fire up on a three times speed to get this one done. We will send this one to the depot. And then we will upgrade the last train on the line. After that, we're going to do a bit of cleanup, and the cleanup involves a few things. It involves passenger trains and freight trains. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I've got a lot of, uh, I've just sort of been upgrading uh, passenger routes, especially especially inner city routes, with just whatever sort of arrived in the depot at the end of each year. But I'm going to change that so they're running on more appropriate lines the sort of more appropriate wagons this ham this uh camden and amboy railroad train is looking rather old so it'll be good to get these replaced as well now you are auto save kicking in for the win there i have actually been looking around the map at a few things sort of planning stuff out so that's why that's come up i have set it for every half an hour 
The autosave has saved the autosave has saved my life quite a few times. Right, you are empty. Right, almost empty. Road vehicle four nine five. Not really interested. We're gonna get a lot of aging road vehicles, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get some frame lag. In fact, are your wheels even turning? Wow, it's just sort of sliding along the ground. That's quite cool. I've never seen it do that before, but it's gonna get sold, so it doesn't matter. Right, so the next one we need to upgrade. And it's right here. Let's have a look at this one. Your wheels are turning. Good man. Excellent. Right. Push pause. We are... No, in fact, push play. What I want to do <clears throat> is go to this depot here. So, we'll go to buy trains. We shall select steam. Uh, the key for a specific blah blah blah. Let's just grab a Mikado 1 and 2, sit them up there, get the details, go to freight, and I want to see how much tank cars it will hold before it gets to a me uh, below a mediocre power rating. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, to 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, wow, 40, 41, 42, and then it goes to poor, so let's get rid of 2, uh, push, pause for the moment, get rid of 2, go to all, get us a nice shiny Boost now. Can I get them in reverse? No, I can't get the Atlantic in reverse, which is pretty cool. And I can get these in reverse. Are they in the reverse? I do believe they are. Yes, they are. That's quite cool. Right, so anywho, I want one of these caboose. Add that. Keeps the power rating. So 40 plus a caboose. Uh, set it on the line, so it'll be Dallas to Houston, or Houston to Dallas crude fuel line. Set that on the go, because there is quite a fair bit of uh, uh, crude sitting there. Now like I said before, we won't be running New York Central, I will replace the train when the, if a better livery train or if not, we'll use the standard Mikado. Look at these. That looks nice. It's carrying grey and back, which I don't actually uh, mind in the slightest. You are waiting, that's fine. You're going to be going to the depot imminently. Quite a long train. Not the longest we'll see in this series, but it is long. There we go, road vehicle 501. I do believe I've got around about 2,000 uh, road vehicles. 405, that's not a bad haul. And there's lots of fuel for it to take back, which is nice. It will free up some space on this line though, which is also nice. Right, there they are, heading out. It looks like it's going quite fast, 25, 26. That's actually okay, that's pretty good. Very nice. Now this one starts to move. We're almost in uh, 1915. Right, you're going to deliver that fuel and then you're going to go... Bye-bye. Uh, I'm afraid... Now, because there's one train, it will take it a while to get back here. As you can see, fuel is, uh, crude is starting to be delivered, which is nice. Very nice. Right, let's see what we've got. <coughs> Excuse me, going on here. 
be prepared to meet your maker train right dump that fuel if possible very nice and go to depot right so he is now gone we can set it on normal speed again We'll soon be reaching 1915, so we're about to get a new vehicle. Here's this huge ass train coming in there. Is there a lot of fuel for you to pick up? Ooh, the heavyweight 281 New York Central, Baltimore and Ohio. A lot of wagons, New Haven uh, heavyweight. These are quite cool. Southern Pacific Olive. Okay, the MP54 power car. Our first ever electric train. That's pretty cool as well. Right, so let's get on to upgrading some of these trains. Now, I would like better locos, but we're going to study, have a look at even. Not study, that's dumb. <laughs> oh, look. Matching huge train. Wow, you managed to get 213. That's pretty awesome. Is there anything waiting? Probably no, because you've probably got about a billion barrels or so. Whoa, hold on. There we go. I screwed up there, pushed the wrong button. Yes, I have been playing for this a long time, but yes, I do still make mistakes. Right, probably about a million here. No, it's going down. That's nice. Okay, so crude is being, our fuel is being delivered to San Antonio. Happy days. Uh, this is the fertilizer train. I would like more fertilizer. I do understand it's probably a sort of lazy industry. Wow, 214 on Houston crude road delivery. That's quite insane. Uh, you just picked up. 480 fuel so it took a big dent out of that uh, line so that is extremely nice you're coming in do you have fuel New Orleans yep yeah, fuel and oil right now let the cleanup commence push play in fact there was no new road vehicle or locomotive there unfortunately but let's go with trains. Now, first on the line, Albuquerque to Mexico crude, that will be getting changed. Albuquerque to Guadalajara, Guadalajara Express can stay as is. Uh, this uh, Houston coal slag train will be getting changed out at some point. Also, we are running these one, two, three, four, five, six on that line. This will be getting changed out for one as well. The Atlantic Coast Intercity, right, let's select an Atlantic Coast Intercity train. Now we are using Boston and Maine for this, which is no problem. Boston and Maine is totally fine. We're going to change it, I think. So let's find out the vehicle's age for a start. It's 11 years old, not that old. There is a Pacific in the background. Or is it a Pacific? Maybe it's something else. I can't remember. Right, so let's have a look. Now this runs along the Atlantic coast. So let's remove that. Currently has don't know how many wagons, but it runs with a full load. So let's have a look and see what we have. Right, steam. Now, the New York Central Lines, Mikado, that's more of a freight train. We are going to be sort of sitting with uh, Atlantics for quite a while until another New York Central train sort of becomes on the go. Now, is the K4S specific for the, I think that's Pennsylvania. It's got written on the side there. I may actually leave this on this Boston and Maine train we do have Baltimore and Ohio parlors we've got the Canadian Pacific 6 axle 
28 1 heavyweight southern. But this is quite smart as well. The six normal six axle does 68. This, I believe, does about yep, 112. And the standard in game heavyweight parlor is also there. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. Will I leave this as is? I think I will leave it as a Boston and uh, main train. Let's have a look at the wagons. The Palace wagons seem okay. I would like the New York Central Lines wagons or the, on there. Perhaps even New Haven. Runs with a full load. Uh, let's have a look at the next station. 70 people waiting. Oh, that's fine, so it should be okay. So you've dodged the bullet there. You're going to remain as is until a new train comes along. Atlantic Coast Mail Train is fine. Buffalo Jack Daniels Line. Right. Uh, give me one vehicle, please. Now, this is a, a Black Edition Atlantic. Yep, it most certainly is. With Chloresteroy wagons. There's a return train there. So, let's have a look and see uh, what we can use for this. So, we'll go into the replacement. I may keep it. Right, let's get rid of them for the moment. Now, something in the steam variety. This K4S Pacific is looking like the be-all end-all currently at the moment. This one is a bit slow. <clears throat> I really would like more trains. That would be <clears throat> awesome. Southern Pacific Daylight, 462 Pacific, the K4S Pacific. So these are roughly all the same train, apart from the Mikados, obviously. Mikado, Baltimore, and Ohio. Will I leave that one? Oh god, the decisions are... are not fun. Okay, screw it. I'll leave in those trains for the moment because it seems that everyone I want to replace I'm just going to leave Canadian Intercity is going to have to be left because the Atlantic there's no point putting the new Canadian uh, passenger cars on it because the train just ain't fast enough just a waste and they're a lot heavier the Central Star Intercity could be running something Detroit Pittsburgh Express now let's have a look at that. What's the next one down? Great Northern Intercity. Guadalajara. Houston Dallas Crude. Right. We're going to wait. So that plan has gone out the window. I thought more trains would become available and I'd be able to sort of match up uh, carriages and things. Alas, that was not the case. Who are you? Ah, you're a mail train. Right. Cool. Right, push pause. Because what we're going to do now is find our delightful uh, Houston train. This Houston and New Orleans train can actually go for the moment. Um, pull up your vehicles. You are running two. But you are unfortunately going to go. Are you still bringing in large amounts of crude? You most certainly are. Right. Let's do this. So you sir. Are on that side. Uh, let's pull a depot off 
and get him in there. Uh, Katanari knew. Pull up train depots, please. Not the station. Not that bridge. Katanari knew. Spin it around. You shall go to the ball, Cinderella. I was hoping that would fit. It does. Uh, go away, please. Right, this is currently empty. Which is delightful. Okay. Right, you can go to the depot. Push play. Now, you are a mail train, so you can stay as is. You're a fertilizer train. You can also stay as is. You're about to deliver some things there. Which is awesome. Push pause. Do I have a depot at this side that that train can go into? No, but I will have very soon. <clears throat> you come off there. Give me that. Spin it round. You go on it there. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect. Right, now. Get ready. Push play. Go to depot and be sold. Right, so he is now gone. Which is excellent. Now that line is going to disappear. Unfortunately, there is five of that and five of that, but it's going to go, it's going to be added. I'll explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of everything that carries uh, fuel, and we're going to make a sort of intercity freight train that just carries fuel from one side, fuel or any sort of uh, liquid goods. All the way to the other side. We'll do it sort of like the Mikado experiment over here. Which is actually kind of working. It is picking up mail in some places. It's getting full. And it's getting it's getting tools, getting a bit of everything. There's no uh, chemicals yet. Because I don't have any coming down here currently. We're going to get rid of that as well. You're a mail train. That's cool. Right. So what I would like to do. Is. Pull up a line. Houston New Orleans fuel rail. So let's go into here. Houston. There we go. Fuel rail. Right, get rid of that. Sorry. Now we've probably lost the fuel that was sitting there. Yep. That's unfortunate that that happened, but it's okay. Now, you, sir, train. I would like you, with your 258 crude, amend your line. Now this is going to be like southern southern uh, liquid liquids liquids bulk freight. Okay, so after San Antonio, you're gonna go to. Now I'm hoping this works. Let's have a look at the line thus far. Right, it goes down into there. Don't think it can get on this line currently. So we'll have to try and do that at some point. I can, however, get rid of this depot now, now that the train is in. Right, 
right, I could change its platform. Currently going into there, can you get it on to any other lines? You probably could and get onto there. Uh, I could probably shunt it over to here. Or it could get, then go down onto there. Which is nice. So far so good. Now this is going to be difficult, so I'm just going to take my time while doing this. Okay, let's get some signals in there, lest I forget. One there. One there. And one there. Then it's going to continue on along there. So add that, very nice, it's played the game well, it's changed its platform in Houston, which is okay, that's fine. It goes along, it wants to come back on the return journey through there, but we'll have to amend that. And New Orleans, so it goes along here. Alright, platform this to here. It can then go forward on the mail line. That is fertilizer, so we can't have it going on the main line, that's fine. Or on the mail line. In fact, let's just go have it go on here. Which it can't actually do. Right, go in on there. Right, very nice. Continue on, go to the right. Which is also nice. And go on to there. Wow, right, let's follow this thus far goes out here goes along there perfect it's going the right way is it yes now we're obviously going to add more of these trains like this onto this line it's not interfering with the mail it's not interfering with the mail train there which is nice let's have it come back into mobile alabama on six uh, it wants to continue on there, which is fine. It can share a line with the mail train. I am thinking about cutting some of the mail trains back a touch. Right, goes in on there. Uh, go to New Orleans return. Now, for some reason, at New Orleans, you don't want to go... What? New Orleans 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Try going on 5, if able. You are. <gasps> no, did not want to do that. There we go. Southern Freight Bulk. Right, 5 is good. Continue out on there. Go back after here to there probably not on eight one two three four five so it's got Houston eight how is it getting onto that line it can't get onto that line it can't get onto this line here. Does that screw anything up? It still kind of works. And then it goes up onto there. Okay. I'll allow it. Just for the fun of it. Goes across to there. Heads up into there. But it changes over. You're not going to do that. 
We're going to go to San Antonio. Now, it's going to give me an error here. Yep, same station twice. That's fine. Because you're then going to power on through to there. Where you want to use both lines. Now, you shouldn't want to use both lines. Why would you? Okay. I need to change its return station here at San Antonio to four. There we go. There it goes in four. Now again, you want to cross over, which is unacceptable. So you're going in there. We'll allow it for the moment. And then can you go to there? You can. Now we're getting it splitting up, which is nice. There's a few things waiting here. It's good. And then we need to go to last but not least here. Okay. This may actually work. Now some trains are going to have to be obliterated in order for it to work. We need to go back to there. Which you are absolutely fine with doing. You're going to have to go back to Albuquerque. And then back to San Antonio. Okay, so that actually works. It's doing this weird thing down here in Houston. I don't mind it doing that. As long as it doesn't clash with anything else. Uh, for example, you are heading to a depot. It would be sold on arrival. Let's turn you around and push play. Now you can go along here. Yes, I did delete a depot over here. Let's get that back in. Just to clear that train quite sharpish. Right. Et voila. Now, I will release, release some trains from here, or re release some trains from there, and get them going. Once that train here that we were just looking at disappears. There he is. Speed up a touch there, buddy, if able. And we're gonna have to change up. See, you're on there, but do you cross over? I think you do. Give me your line. Oh yeah, we're good there. This train's gonna be changed anyway as well. Still getting quite a large amount of fuel from there. Alright, let's close that. Now, I actually want to go down to Armacado, whatever it is. Hello? It's the biggest train on the map, yet I can't see it. Right, this is carrying 396, which is good. But I want it to match the other one which is this monstrosity right here so 256 plus 4 is uh, 450 460 uh, plus 20 is 480 so we'll get this one sort of maxed out as well so go to replace. Doesn't have a caboose on it, that's fine. Uh, modify replacement vehicle. Freight. Uh, how much wagons is it currently holding?
Oh my god, this is going to be difficult. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. In fact, here's an, an easier idea. Just delete everything and put in 40. Keep the train. Keep the train. <laughs> right, bring you over here, please. Right, and we'll bang on 40. 40 of these, please. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Uh, let's look at its overview. Whoa, did not want to see that. Uh, replacement. Please tell me that's the 40. Uh, Arctic boost. I may have to do that again. <laughs> no. Don't think that was 40. Uh, right. Freight, please. Give me this. Forty. All. Add the key boost. Add. Replace now and yes. Right. That should make it bigger. We'll fast forward it. Get him in. Make sure he is gonna replace you're gonna be waiting for him no you're not you're just going for it good man oh now we've got an issue mail train is waiting to get in right you're waiting for that to clear which he's gonna do any second now see that's why I wanted to keep it on here but it's okay we're okay I will allow it I mean I could even Take a branch out here. Stick it in there. I'm not going to. <laughs> I could if I wanted. Oh my god. Why are you waiting for this guy? You should have been the one to go first there, buddy. I'm thinking about eliminating some of these. Probably every second mail train. Right, that's not good because this guy's gonna take an age to clear. Uh, there's no point changing his platform now, you'll just get confused. Right, please, mail train, please go. We've waited quite a while now. <laughs> Right, and away he goes. Go now. What? Why are you stopped? Why are you not going? You have a free path. Whoa, why? Ah, oh, but now it can't go. Ah, you were waiting for him to clear. Okay, you're collecting mail up this side. That makes sense. And you're doing a stand-up job there, sort of. Mini Atlantic. I actually forgot that I changed this to go onto that platform. Now, this train doesn't require that platform, it goes onto this one, which is nice. Uh, New Orleans West 205, that's excellent. 66 waiting for the train when it comes back. And we'll sort of see what it sort of picks up on the way. It's also got some oil to collect here, it will collect the lot. Hopefully. Yes, should do. Alright, excellent. It did not, it did replace. Yes, nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Right. So we'll leave him to go and do his thing. What we'll do is... Is there crude weight in here? 17 barrels. That's going to mount up. Which will be nice. Mail train, you can carry on in there. Fertilizer train is actually getting more, which is good. Alright, you're going to come in here. Now, lines that carry fuel here. Right, this Phoenix fuel something or other, we are going to get rid of. Now, I would like it just to carry construction materials at the moment, currently. You are the coal train. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. How much coal is waiting for it? 27 now. So it's going to be seriously overweighted when it picks that up. Not. Right, you're coming back in with nothing. Which is fine. You don't take anything that requires you to build construction materials. I would like you to go to a depot and be sold whatever that may be never gonna fit one in there I don't think even this coal train sucks <laughs> um, okay I still want it to take construction materials but just not currently at the moment Now, let's actually I would like to get another train. I'd like to keep that. I want to have a look at this. It's got 33 of 70, which is not a lot. Could be more, 22. Uh, if we've got a lot of steel waiting here. 8, that's not a lot. So I'm going to have to figure this out. Some way, somehow. You are actually getting a fair bit of stone and slag, which is nice. Mail train is a-okay for the moment. You're carrying, so you carry nothing in return. Warning road vehicle 837 is old. How old is this train? It doesn't look very old. 23? Does it look 23? It looks shiny and new. It's got a wee bit of wear and tear. This one here is actually coming in with construction materials and fuel, which I would like it to do and keep doing. Okay, okay. Right. Where is my Mikado? My Mikado should be heading down. There. Somewhere is that it? No, that's a mail train. Uh, Albuquerque Rail. See, I would like to get some sort of hopper train that takes stuff along as well where it would go I'm not entirely sure this one drops off coal for the power plants which are over here there they are they're producing some stuff which is cool I do like the power plants they're quite smart actually now extremely long Mikado there he is now you've got 18 fuel and you're taking it up to mobile. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's good. Alright, so. How are we going to do this? 
first of all, we're gonna get rid of this train for the moment. Now, vehicles, you've got two. Uh, you just passed the depot, which kind of sucks. You're a mail train. I am going to cut the mail trains. I'll cut them in half. Because I do believe there's eight down here. Uh, southern mail train vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we'll cut that down oof, to about six or something. But we'll make them longer if possible. I do like these things though, they are quite smart. Although I just want to see how my Mikado fares. Now we have the clothes factory up here in New York, which we're going to get set up as well. So that train could take chemicals from New Orleans, drop it off down here and deliver to there and we'll get cotton being shipped in as well now the Mikado one we are going to change the name of at some point it's got 12 mail that's not so good I didn't want it to pick up mail but alas it's chosen to do its own thing how dare thee <laughs> it's okay it can pick up some mail uh, Mikado 1, we need a different name for this. So this is going to be the East Coast. East Coast what? It carries various different things. Fluids, dry goods, food, livestock. Just go bulk. East Coast Bulk Freight Line. Okay. That's good. Good, good, good. Alright. How's my super duper Mikado? It's waiting for a free path. Oh, it's paused. Why are you waiting for a free path? Are you on the wrong side? No, you're on the right side. That was waiting for that mail train to clear. So we are going to clear out some of them. Thankfully this one won't take mail. Because it can only take uh, liquids. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Excellent. And we'll get some more of them on there. But we're going to leave it there for that, this episode. I do apologise, it was a bit all over the place. That was because the plan I had to upgrade the express lines and uh, intercity lines did not go to plan. I sort of need more trains. We've got more wagons, which is excellent. I just sort of need more trains. We'll upgrade them in a one -er. It does seem like we will have the Atlantic... Uh, train for quite a while. The next train up here is the Mikado, which is obviously a freight train. And we'll try and sort out some of the good li goods lines before I go on to the next uh, new industries. The newest industry we're going to do is obviously clothes. So we're going to get cotton and chemicals shipped up to New York. We'll get some more of these added. I will declutter some of the lines. And we'll see how we get on. But that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, as always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Boy. This has been Transport Fever on the USA map. And I will catch you later.